Freaking leaders. <laughs> they got, leaders. They, they got yeah. They got he, he oh he y'all think henchmen. y'all think I'm lying about these about these henchmen. So they they here they are. They blocking the dude with the eye patch. I'm not lying about that. <laughs> that has an eye patch, but you see all of them look at look like something out of Double Dragon or uh-huh. something. Or, yeah, our our Mortal Kombat. You know they come in and they even talk like villains, because because that woman right there, you now she comes in and she starts beating the <laughs> out these kids and having these kids beat the shit out of each other. They got these kids punching rocks to where they're breaking their hands, and she's looking at them talking about, is that pain you feel? Pain does not exist here. I'm like that kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, Double Toasted Live in Las Vegas is coming up very soon, October 8th. Join us for a night of comedy, music, games, and a big after party. This is going to be our first time doing a show in Las Vegas, so it's going to be a very special night for us, and we want to share it with you. And if you've never been to a Double Toasted show, ask anybody. It's tons of fun. It's just like one big party that we're sharing with friends. And like I said, we want you to be there. So go get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com. If you're not familiar with Cobra Kai, it's a show that became popular on YouTube, which was based on a simple premise, uh, which is, so this movie, The Karate Kid right here, what if we took some characters from the Karate Kid, mainly the rivals, because you know you had you had a victim turned hero, mm-hmm. Daniel Larusso, mm-hmm. and his villainous asshole bully Johnny Lawrence. Well, jo- Johnny Lawrence, uh, who and and Daniel defeated Johnny. He defeated <laughs> Johnny in one of the most one of the most famous karate moves of all time in cinema. Johnny, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, he laid his ass out all. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the that's the the famous crane kick. Mm-hmm. And so what they did with this is that they said, what if we take these two rivals, but we reverse it? It's thirty years later. It's thirty years. Yeah, thirty years later, Johnny's still mad about that kick, <laughs> and nothing in his life went right after that. Kick. <laughs> Boy, he just he just he, he kicked his future out of him. <laughs> that fool just he would became an instant loser to that kick. <laughs> Shit, cause Johnny had money. Johnny had girls. Yeah. Shit, the moment he kicked Johnny, Johnny's he got this old <laughs> girls girls didn't like him anymore. He became broke. <laughs> he became yeah, broke. broke. Yeah, and man. He, and he never moved past that. Me, Not even mentally. Meanwhile, Daniel been living off that kick for, for the last thirty <laughs> years. Daniel been living off that kick. He 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 owns a, a successful uh, car dealership. He every time he advertises the car, he's like we. Kick prices, <laughs> you know. He's, yeah. yeah, man, he's yeah, a, he lives in a nice home. He's got a fine ass wife. Yeah, he's got everything going for him. Yeah. So what if we took Daniel Larusso and and Johnny Lawrence and reversed them? You know, Johnny's still an asshole, but you kind of feel bad for him right now. You know, he's just like, I mean, damn. I mean, you know, this is a different time. <laughs> You know, he ain't no kid no more. It's like, he didn't have to suffer that much. But Johnny's a loser now, and he's still somewhat of an asshole. But yeah. and he, <laughs> he's a big asshole. He's a, no, he's a big ass. But, you, but you, feel, you feel kind of bad for him. Why? Because in a way, Daniel's a bigger asshole. You know, Daniel's life is going very well, but Daniel still loves living in the past, celebrating that kick, man, and not afraid to gloat in front of anybody's face, including Johnny's. You know, he'll be nice to Johnny, but it's kind of a passive nice. He's like, hey, buddy, you remember that? You remember that time I kicked the shot? <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, you say it every time I come around. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, what if, and because of Daniel's cockiness, what if we, what if we, what if, what if, what if Johnny was the one that we rooted for, you know, after all these years? Uh, the show's popular enough that Netflix picked it up. And it kept going. Uh, but here's the thing. When, when you keep a show going, you know, you, you have to kind of get crazier. You yeah. know, you got to get. Yeah, you got you to gotta up the game. You got to up the game, man. <laughs> and so with this, Johnny went, in order to, like, just get some dignity in his life, he went, he went re- and reopened Cobra Kai, hopefully with the, you know, not being the, 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 the 
evil sensei like he had uh, that pretty much wanted to kill kids after a certain point. Uh, you know, but also Daniel Wynn opened up uh, a Miyagi Dojo, mm -hmm. Miyagi Do, whatever. Yeah, Miyagi Do. Uh, and in effect, because now that both of them, these two rivals, being that they have two dojos now, they start training these kids, and they pretty much train these kids to be gangs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 you know, they're gang members in, in Kung Fu gangs. Yeah, and that's when things start to go crazy because, you know, uh, Cobra Kai gets crazy every season now. No, you had you, you had this rival between uh, that has been brought back up between uh, Daniel and Johnny. That was kind of funny. But then they brought these kids in, mm. and these kids because they taking it way beyond what Johnny and Danny did. These kids have become criminals. They beat the <laughs> shit out of each other. They just find each other in malls and. and and in, and, and in school, they beat the shit out of the teachers. Uh -huh. <laughs> they terrorize people just in the food court trying to eat their meals. I like the way people can't even eat their food. They just got down. Like that woman back there, she's like, hey, my, can't, my hamburger's over there. Can you get that for <laughs> Shit. Uh, they just kicked it across the room. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'll, I'll just buy another one. And I'm thinking, y'all better get y'all get the fuck out of the way. Because <laughs> they don't care because they'll start beating the shit out of anybody. It's going to a frenzy. Well, it, it is like two gangs, you know, shooting at each other in the middle of a, a public square. It really is. And these kids, they don't have any limits, man. If they find out that a rival uh, a dojo is at somebody's house... They'll come to that house. And destroy the house. And destroy the house. They 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 physically it's gone beyond karate. They mm. like they physically assault each other. Illegally. All these kids should be in juvie. Yeah. Shit, juvie. All of them should be in in, in, in Rikers. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There's a bunch of them pretending like they're in high school when yeah. they clearly aren't. Shit, they are they, they are they are the dangerous as a man now, as a grown man. Like that man that one of the funniest scenes. I was like, okay, this is what y'all need to call the cops now. Like the cops don't even exist in this no, town anymore. No cops. Uh like that scene where, uh, what's that kid, Bert? Where he thought he heard a cat outside? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they threw his ass through a window. Aw, I think your cat wants to come in. Here, kitty, kitty. It's Wait. dumbass. <laughs> hey, Bert, no. That's, Bert is doing horror movie shit. He He's doing that dumb white people shit in horror movies. Hey, what's out here? <laughs> Well, get his ass! <laughs> we don't. <laughs> you know what? Be funny if a cat came in. <laughs> Keep that bitch out of here. <laughs> yeah, people, they're criminals now. And they should be in jail. And that's when the, that's when the series finally told us. They said, look, well, you can get out right now. We can keep going. I'm stopping the car right now. But we're not at my stop yet. Yeah. Okay, you had yeah. your chance. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey we're about to do some dumb shit. You can get out the car right now. We can keep going. It's up to you. A lot of people opted to keep going. <laughs> Just to see where it goes. Just to see where it goes. Because they're like, hey, listen, you know, it's only going to get crazy from here. So if you want to go on this ride, I'm telling you right now, it's like that scene in Boys in the Hood. Hey, what we about to do is pretty dangerous and stupid. Do you want to keep going? Or you can get out the car and go on about your life. You know, it's it's just getting crazy from here right now, and it and and it does get crazier. And even if you stick around, you know, for season five, the, the, season five is is even asking you, how crazy are you willing to get? It's only getting worse. <laughs> I know. No police. No, no. <laughs> no police no, presence. No, no. <laughs> no it's a, they, they, you got one black dude with a whistle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah one, if y'all don't stop fighting, you got to yeah. leave the pool. <laughs> yeah, you, get, yeah, you got one body, body, bodyguard about to get his ass beat. <laughs> Guys, stop it. I was like, y'all better kick this motherfucker in his mouth. I said, I even put the bodyguard like, man, you better move. Yeah. <laughs> you, said, you better leave. <laughs> let, them, let them have this pool. <laughs> So, to answer your question, dear Chloe, yeah. when you say how crazy does this get, uh, we are talking fast and furious level at this point. Ooh. Now, relatively, well, you know, it's, say, it's yeah. not no, 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 no. No, I'm about to say <laughs> yes. No, it didn't. No, it. Did you see this shit? Yeah, I, I didn't see it. They shut your brought the trailer. Up. Brought the trailer. I don't know. No. Oh, you just looking at the trailer. Yeah, I'm looking at the trailer. No, I no this. 
Now, it's relative. I'm not talking about Fast and Furious level as far as like explosions and CG. Going to the moon. And stunts and going to, going to, you know, going into space and yet. <laughs> get, not you know, yet. Get, get season six or seven, we might be there. <laughs> it might be in Mars the way things are going right here. <laughs> but, it's, but it's compared to Fast and Furious in that the first season started out relatively grounded. That's the word I was going to use. Yes. Grounded. That's what made it so popular on, on YouTube. Yeah. And then at some point, it lost its fucking mind. Like Fast and Furious, they got money, and now it's become a yeah. it's become a cartoon comic book, mm -hmm. just like Fast and Furious did. You know, this is, we're in a different world right now. You know, uh, the laws of the land, our physics don't involve. <laughs> they're not involved anymore. <laughs> they don't exist anymore. It doesn't matter. You know, Cobra Kai. The thing is, Cobra Kai. This is funny because Cobra Kai. Let me see here. So Cobra Kai went from. Uh, Cobra Kai went from like a strip mall karate class to being an evil James Bond organization. Yes, now. <laughs> yes. Like, where it's training kids to fight at Mortal Kombat. Yeah, in five seasons. In five seasons. <laughs> That's all. It like, took. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like now, like before, it was just you know, it was just them trying to teach kids how to defend themselves. Now you got. You got e uh, uh, evil villains, man, who are shipping in henchmen wearing, <laughs> who, who, are bringing, who are bringing in henchmen wearing eye patches and scars. You know, it's, and, I, yes, I brought you these evil senseis. <laughs> like, is this Dragon they, Ball? Yeah. What's going on? They Ooh. all got damn evil facial hair. You uh, know. Yeah. It's, if I see you look at these these grown ass people, you're like, y'all don't have nothing better to do. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> not. Torture kids. And, I, and what I think they're doing is, I think Cobra Kai is actually training henchmen to ship out to other villains yeah. at this point because they, because they're training them to be like, no, there's no parents coming by. Like, what the fuck are you teaching my kid? I know, I know. <laughs> Last night, my, I told my kid to go to bed. He beat the fuck out of me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Man, don't, don't get me started on that. <laughs> like, no parents come in at all talking about, well, you know. Not like no, no parents to like come in and have accountability for their kids beating up other kids out in public. No, no. Well, that was the whole thing. Watching this, what well, Daniel was like, we got to shut them down. And I'm, I'm not sure what to do, but we're gonna do this. And I was like, so nobody's gonna say, let's just tell the parents what, what's going on to no. get the kids out of the class. This shit is like Charlie Brown. Yeah, but I was like, <laughs> oh, of course you can't tell the parents because there are no parents. They bring in leaders. <laughs> <laughs> leaders. They, they got yeah, they got. He, oh, y'all think y'all think I'm lying about these about these henchmen? So they they here they are. They blocking the dude with the eye patch. I'm not lying about that. <laughs> that motherfucker right has an eye patch. But you see, all of them look at look like something out of Double Dragon uh -huh. or some are yeah are, are Mortal Kombat. But but they bring in these these uh, these leaders who kind of finish it. Yeah, like this <laughs> like this woman right here who's wearing all black. Very tall too. They bring her in and you know they come in and they even talk like villains. Cause, Cause, that woman right there, no, she comes in and she starts beating the fuck out these kids and having these kids beat the shit out of each other. They got these kids punching rocks to where they're breaking their hands, and she's looking at them talking about, "Is that pain you feel? Pain does not exist here." I'm like, "They're fucking kids, man!" No. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? This is this is child abuse. I know. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> we get to the point of like, "All right, now bust your hand on that rock." Yeah. I don't want to do that. Uh, what did I say? I guess I got no choice. No, no. <laughs> what happens is this this girl's like they put up a, a, a wall of, of of stone, and she says, "Break break the stone with your hand." And she's like, "That'll break my fucking hand." She's like, "You know what? I'm out this bitch. I'm gone." And then those dudes surround yeah. her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Those dudes, they, those big dudes step in front of yeah, her they, like you ain't going nowhere. They come in like, "Where you going?" <laughs> and she don't think like I'm calling the cops. She don't do it because first of all, they'll kill her. About Not say, beat yeah. her ass. They'll kill her before she can get her phone out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll they fucking kill her. <laughs> and I'll fucking kill her. She don't do it. So she goes up there. She's like, oh well. <laughs> 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 you know, the, 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 do it again. <laughs> yeah, and she does it. Yeah, because she fears for her life. And so they're bringing in all these. You got the. You got these. Uh, these villains. You got these villainous organizations. You got these. These villainous henchmen. And I'm thinking, well, who the fuck y'all gonna bring in next? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Because this shit is pretty much the Foot Clan that y'all yeah. training. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nice. who's gonna be teaching next season? Shredder? Because <laughs> I mean, it's like you see this is you see the turtles. That's Cobra Kai behind this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, man? Uh, <laughs> they're just kids. They're just kids. That's why this is crazy because they're saying that, because Daniel keeps talking about Cobra Kai. You don't understand. He's about to lose his, his, his wife because he's like, you don't understand. Cobra Kai, they must be stopped. You don't know what they're doing to these kids. If, they don't get, if we don't stop Cobra Kai, they're going to destroy this town. And I'm like, it's a fucking karate class. <laughs> a lot of this has to do with the teacher. Uh, Terry Silver. It's played by Thomas Ian Griffith, man. He's the guy from... Uh, he's the guy from uh, uh, the villain from Karate Kid 3. Oh. Who, and he's replaced Colonel Kreese as uh, the big bad guy in this. And he is straight out of a comic book or a Bond movie. It's funny because... Uh, he told... Uh, uh, he told Daniel straight up. He says... He, he did say, he says, I don't want Cobra Kai. I want it all. Mm-hmm. Now, he doesn't say it, but to me, that means world domination. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, he's saying it. Like, yeah. world domination. It's like, oh, I got, I got big plans that you can't even fathom. Yeah. And it's like, I can't, because this is all based around a karate school, and I don't get what you're yeah. doing. And even when he lays out his big plan, I'm like, oh, that? All right. All right. Just leave him alone. Yeah, and he is a cartoon, man, because they. I, you know what? I, they, I love this guy. Oh, no, listen, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Ever since he came in with the last season, I was like, oh, yeah. I'm digging this dude. He is a cartoon. He is cartoonish as hell because they have flashbacks to where he was younger than that. And that fool still had that ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a cartoon character that doesn't change. Uh-huh. You know, one wears the same clothes and has one character trait that the animators don't want to change because they want to reanimate shit. Right, right. You right. know, he, he had the, he, so it was like he's 18. He still has a, that fucking ponytail. And he's still villainous. Uh-huh. Uh, and as cartoonish as he is, I love Terry Silver, Me man. Too. I love this dude. Me too. <laughs> where where Crease was was menacing, Silver is just slimy. <laughs> he's always plotting. He's a, the thing is he's always plotting on how to make you look like the asshole. <laughs> he's like, he's, like he's the biggest villain, and he, you know, and and, and, and well, Daniel just plays right into his hands. This time you scream at the TV, Daniel, don't take the bait. Come on, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> because he. He's got to do it. He'll say something. He's like, because he'll, he'll, Daniel will fall for the bait. Because he'll, he'll tell him, too. He's like, you know what? Fuck you in, Mr. Miyagi. Y'all ain't shit. Oh, oh, did you see him? I know. Oh, he hit me. The flop. Oh. Just that, that flop. He's like, get your big ass oh, on his mind, Oh, Daniel, why did you hit me? Whoa, is me. You saw him, everybody. <laughs> People come around and like, Daniel, what did you, you do? And Terry's all like, I know. <laughs> Yeah, even Daniel's wife is like, you just ruined everything. Yeah. No, but you don't understand. <laughs> and Daniel's ever just sitting Terry, somebody just a grinning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. I, I'll be all right, y'all. I'll be all right. Oh, oh, oh. no, no, just give me another minute. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't nothing. Rehab can't help. I, I just don't know why he did that. <laughs> and the dude is always there. Like he follows <laughs> people know. around. He knows how to show up. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Like, you get through taking the shit and open the door. You're like, oh, shit, he's there. And like, are you following me? I don't know, am I? <laughs> so he's, he's, he's got these, these lofty goals, man, uh, to the point where he's bringing in on his private jet, he's bringing in chicks that look like they work not for Cobra Cobb, but just Cobra. Cobra. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I'm offering you is legacy. Grand- no, you're offering a class full of 14-year-olds. <laughs> the fuck legacy do you want from that? It's like, really, these people had these lofty ambitions, man. Yeah, it's not until <laughs> later okay, they define it. She's there because he's going to teach kids her grandfather's style of kung fu. And you're like, that's, that's not enough to justify all this. I know y'all are trying, but it's not enough. I know. And... And I showed you that picture there, man, with the with her, you know, these people over here. Look, so she brings these people who look, you know, like this woman who looks like the Baroness and shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she brings them in, surrounded by enforcers. You know, these are motherfuckers that you would see in a Marvel movie. Yes, mm-hmm. right, yeah, Marvel. You villain. know, but they they are brought in for a kids karate class, <laughs> <laughs> and they are and they are beating the shit out these kids. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, I would just think that if you have world domination goals, that's cool. But, you know, a, a, a strip mall karate class is probably not the best place to start. Hey, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. <laughs> that is how silly this is, man. So, okay. So, you know, 
is there a reason to watch this? Because we're talking about how silly it has gotten. Why is it so successful if it's gotten so crazy? Uh, well, you know, I think that if you come in into the middle of this, yeah, this is going to be goofy as hell, man. I mean, it already is if you've been keeping up with it. I mean, they got characters who, who, who are named Hawk. When, and they, when they say their name, like, it's time to bring in the Hawk. You hear in the background, <laughs> oh! You know, it's like, that's, that's how silly we are with this, man. But the show, listen, I've been keeping up with it these last few seasons. It has some ups and downs for me. But I've always said I've enjoyed it. And I, I, I'm kind of here with the same, uh, with the same opinion uh, with season five. Because uh, the show gets by with a few things for somebody like myself you know uh fans of the of the of the movies which themselves got crazy after a while shit by the second one they would daniel went to okinawa to, to get killed yeah the fight, to, the fight the to the death yeah you know fans of the films uh you know their nostalgia you know uh for, for these characters man is i think is what's going to actually have them enjoy this you know, that's one of the reasons why we kept up with it for uh, this, this uh, thus far. Uh, you know, we're still watching these characters grow. You know, uh, and these are the kids right here beating the shit out of each other. But <laughs> <laughs> is there any reason behind them just beating the shit out of each other? Well, yeah. Well, I'll tell you. For, see, for, for that's the thing. For somebody like me, it's kind of cool seeing these 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 old characters have these new dynamics with each other. For new fans, uh, it has a soap opera structure. And that's what you see with these kids right here. It, it, that soap opera structure helps it move well. It keeps introducing new conflicts, as outlandish as they may be. And they really are soap opera. You know, if these kids aren't beating the shit at each other, then they're, you know, they're, 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 they're crying over an uh, ex-girlfriend or, you know, a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Everybody has love and relationship problems here. Um, you know, somebody's getting knocked up. <laughs> you know, it's like, like they're doing soap operas, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. This week, Helen is pregnant, you know. Uh, you know, also you have storylines. With speaking of love, well, if you know the characters, you know will will uh, will Miguel get back with Samantha? Mm -hmm. Will uh, uh, there's a Romeo and Juliet thing going on with Tori and Robbie? Mm -hmm. If you know who the characters are here, um, and also can can Robbie and uh, can Robbie and, and Miguel finally stop kicking the shit at each other and admit <laughs> their latent homosexuality? <laughs> 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 nah, you know. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, why don't you two just fuck already? <laughs> but you know, but for for older fans like me, man, it was cool seeing how the characters that you know now be adults. Uh, how even they have managed to kind of put their differences uh, aside. Uh, and again, this is very much Fast and Furious. Oh yeah. Every, <laughs> That's right. Every villain becomes a friend. Everybody keeps coming back, man. Aww. Yeah. So this is chosen. From uh, Karate Kid 2. Uh, the one who tried to kill Daniel. The one who tried to kill him <laughs> several times in Karate Kid 2. Like, Daniel, there's a point where Daniel's like, oh no, not <laughs> you again. <laughs> Damn, give him a chance to answer. <laughs> That's why you ain't got your money back because you keep beating the shit on him before he can even reach for his wallet. Yeah, man. Though they tried to kill each other at one time. And now everybody's coming back, you know, just like Fast and Furious. You know, who was once an enemy is, is now a friend. Uh, Kim Sung Young was master of a Tang Sudo, but that is not what he taught. <laughs> yeah, bitch. I ain't forgot. <laughs> uh, nah, you know, actually, they're cool. I did enjoy. Uh, I did enjoy watching. Uh, uh, he seems like he's still a shitty person, but he's not. Him and Daniel, he's gotten to the point where he loves Daniel so much that he's protecting his family and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fun watching them, uh, you know, again, put the differences aside and become friends. Just like Danny and Johnny are yeah. becoming now. If you, I'm sorry if you haven't seen, you know, the other seasons and this is a spoiler, but Danny and Johnny, the last season, they kind of decided, all right, you know, some shit they should have done in the very beginning. The, let's join forces. Yes, in the first season, they should have done that. I yeah. know. <laughs> but that was the whole thing of right. like, at first you were kind of rooting for Johnny, but it's like both y'all are stupid, man. Yeah, both y'all yeah. are dumbasses. Yeah. Which yeah. was the appeal. Well, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, even with the first season, I was like, well, it's not so much that Daniel's an asshole, but the fact that he's still, he's as much stuck in the past just as much as Johnny. As Johnny, is. yeah. Yeah. I mean, with Daniel, I almost kind of forgive it because even in in this season 
there's an ex girlfriend who comes along to because his wife's like, I'm sick of him at this. And, yeah. And the, and the ex girlfriend's like, No, you don't understand how badly he got bullied. There's a reason. I, I don't blame him for being like this. And I, these are all people who are his bullies. So it would be a kind of thing where it would be hard for him to, you know, let it go. I get yeah. that. But yeah. it's but one of the joys of it of it is watching these dudes who are way too immature kind of get past it and realize it takes them a way too long, but they eventually do go like, all right, what are we doing? Yeah, and it, I mean, and all these guys admit, I mean, one, that's the cool thing with the adults. All of them admit, like, we were all stupid back in the day. Mm-hmm. Why would, what, what were we even thinking? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and it's just cool to see old enemies become friends, man. Maybe even enjoy a meal over HelloFresh. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering. Oh, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Martin, don't hate me, Martin. Come in and sit down and enjoy a meal with me, man, that I cooked myself. Mm. People. <laughs> Yeah, even HelloFresh can bring enemies together, man. Why? Because <laughs> not the ads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, you'll get over one day, Mark. <laughs> Maybe season six or seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of seasoning, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about HelloFresh right here. HelloFresh is the is the meal prep kit that has meals that are covered with the weekly selection of thirty plus recipes. 70 plus convenience items and the thing is all delivered to your home farm fresh man uh you know you've heard me talk about hello fresh a lot i actually enjoy hello fresh very much just because of the convenience i have never really cooked all that much in years i used to mm-hmm. but hello fresh brought me back into it because the thing is let, let me tell you y'all know my time is valuable you know you know i'll spend all day working on these shows uh i ain't got time to cook unless you give me a recipe that takes about 30 minutes or less which is the case with HelloFresh. They even have these quick and easy meals that you can prepare in about 20 minutes or less. And that means that if you're cooking these meals in, a, in, that, in such a short amount of time, you ain't got that much to clean up either. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you get to sit up there and enjoy your food with your friends and family and not be thinking about that dirty-ass kitchen back there. <laughs> you can probably even clean up before you're done eating or before you're done cooking or before you eat. <laughs> One of those things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do all of the above. <laughs> you clean up before you cook. Yeah, you clean up. <laughs> you cook before you clean. <laughs> cook while you clean. Yeah, you keep listening to me. You're something in the dish rag. <laughs> Washing your plates with your food. <laughs> you clean your plates with a drumstick. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, it takes all the stress out of preparing that meal and cleaning up afterwards. Um like I said, man, I uh, I enjoy that HelloFresh offers a variety of things that you can do with it because look, it's flexible. You it's, you get you subscribe, you get these meals on a plan, but you don't you're not stuck with it. So if you're a vegetarian, you get your vegetarian meals, and if you're the opposite of that, you get that. And some people, you know, you're in the middle. Some weeks I feel like I need to eat a little better, get them greens up in. You can have like mostly a vegetable or vegetarian meal and put some meat up in there, some protein, and vice versa. You know. If you want a whole plate full of meat with a little leaf of spinach on there, then that's fine. <laughs> you know, they, they got you. I don't know if they go that far, but they. But you do get to mix up your meals and you know and uh, customize them to your choice. Also, if you change your address, they're right there. There's some people even go on vacation and they're staying in an Airbnb somewhere. Oh, they have them delivered to the you Airbnb. Can, you can change your address and have it delivered oh, there. Nice. Yeah. I told them to, uh, but I, I did that when I was over in Turkey. They said, "Hell no." <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know, but they, but they, <laughs> you bet he was over there. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure they have turkey there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's to get me back for it. <laughs> okay, you got damn right it was. It was purposely for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? But we'll, we'll be like Johnny and Danny, man. We'll we'll get over there. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, and uh, they have meals that are ready for the season. They got a fall, fall recipes. They have summer recipes. Those look delicious. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, uh, you can get other things too. Uh, you can get breakfast. They got stuff. Uh, they got snacks. They got desserts now. Uh, yeah, quick breakfast breakfasts that you can make. And thing is with this also, let's just get right down to it. 
uh, all you bachelors out there, again, ladies, uh, you know, uh, I'm not talking to you because I can only speak from my experience right here. But uh, all you bachelors out there, ladies, uh, well, Chloe can back me up on this. Chloe, what would you think about a man that can cook? I mean, is there anything better? No, it is not. <laughs> and that, you heard it right here. Ain't nothing better. <laughs> And like, damn, you got low expectations. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're doing an ad. No, I'll we're say we're No, no, thank you, Chloe. <laughs> there is nothing better. You heard it from the beautiful Chloe right here. And if Chloe caught you cooking a meal from her, you ain't got to tell us from Hello Fresh. But if she caught you cooking in the kitchen, Chloe would say, and I'm speaking for Chloe right now, Chloe, you would say, that's sexy. That's nice, yeah. Man, yeah, look, that's nice. <laughs> Now imagine Chloe over your shoulder while you prepping that meal. Wow, that's nice. Add some spice, yeah. Don't forget the salt. Make sure to clean it. Oh boy, <laughs> I think we, people are signing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want the Chloe meal. <laughs> Wait, which, which one did she say she likes? Yeah. <laughs> Hello so, Fresh. That's Hello, what I like. Hello Fresh. Hello that's Fresh. what she likes. Actually, I really do like cooking with HelloFresh. Yeah, it's actually really good. I did it. I have had it for like two years now. You have? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So, well, so you speak from experience. Yeah, from experience. I love it. And I, you know, I'm a vegetarian and I've been all my life. And like, it's opened me up to try new things. And I've always been a very picky eater. And yeah, I love HelloFresh. And it was very affordable. And like, even, you know, I did quit it once. But they got me back because they were like, here's 10 free meals. And like, I got back and I was like, man, I guess I can't quit it now. I've been yeah. here for two years. It's all I know how to do. Oh, wow. Just give it a minute. You're going to hear something. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, listen, Chloe, if for some reason you decide to drop it, <laughs> I'm going to bring you back in because I'll tell you what yeah. I'm going to do for you. In fact, you maybe you should drop it. I think it should. Yeah, I should. What are you going to do for me? What I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you, Chloe. If you drop it, Sign back up by going to HelloFresh.com <laughs> slash Double Toasted 16. <laughs> you know what? And Tony, let me tell you why. Because you're going to get you're going to get 16 free meals across seven boxes, and you're going to get three free gifts. Again, Chloe, that is HelloFresh.com slash Double Toasted 16. Chloe, you look a little confused. I'm going to spell it for you. <laughs> H-E-L-L-O-F-R-E-S-H. Look, she got a phone out. Dot com. Bring it back. Double Toasted 16. Plastic. It is D O U B L E T O A S T E D. That's the number 16. You put that in and get yourself 16 free meals across seven boxes and get yourself three free gifts. Listen to Chloe. Listen to me. Listen to Martin. <laughs> now look back at your man. Now look back at me. Now look back at your man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you see that right there? <laughs> oh, people. I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the show. HelloFresh America's number one meal kit. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support. All right, where was I? Oh, yes. These adults, they've learned to get along after all these years. These kids, though, are still beating the fuck out of each other. <laughs> But the, <laughs> but they, with but, no supervision, with no supervision. <laughs> <or> repercussions. <laughs> Nobody's going to the hospital. No, no, not, 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 not at all. <laughs> that hospital should be full of just kids with broken bones. And they don't show them go to school at all anymore. No, it, it, well, school is boring. <laughs> oh, school right. is corrupt. Oh, shit, they, they tore it down. I was about to say they had no school anymore. The teachers quit. They tired of getting their ass beat. But these, te but these kids are still beating the shit out of each other. Right? <laughs> oh, no. And the thing is, it's kind of cool to see some of them start to get their robberies out the way, too. Um, I'll tell you, that it, it, I, I, I understand people if you're not into this because it's so ridiculous. Yes, I get it. Uh, even I have to like criticize it for that and, and take some points off for how ridiculous it has gotten. But uh, I, you know, I, I, it's not anything I didn't anticipate, and I have enjoyed it. And you have to understand, I say that again because yes, it's illogical, but the soap opera structure is what helps with that because soap operas aren't really, you know, they don't go on logic either. And that's mm -hmm. all this is. It's a it's a soap opera with a with a kick to the face. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that makes it sound good. I you know well I can tell you probably didn't like this as much as I did. Probably not as that, much. Yeah, but I would say that there's also some you know I'm gonna pass this on to Martin because I mean again I think one of the one of the things that 
is not good about this is a Netflix thing. They got filler episodes. Yes. You like that episode where Miguel was looking for his father. Well, that was just going to say, they start out with filler episodes. They start out with Miguel looking for his father. Yeah. And that goes nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, do, they, they do so much. But it's like, isn't it, isn't it two episodes in that? It, it, all this tracking down his father because it, it, the last season ended a cliffhanger him going to Mexico to look for his real his biological father yeah. and then he's there and then Johnny and Robbie are coming to, to rescue him he meets his dad and all this stuff and then that's just because I, I was like okay they better be setting this guy up to be the villain for the next one they, they don't mention it at all they, they, they're done with it yeah. and, and also I had to laugh at the way it escalated so quick you know? yes it did <laughs> I mean I'm not going to tell you what happened Joe, but it was like damn yeah right <laughs> I mean, I better shut up. I really want to say something, but I but better yeah, shut up. You're right. You're right. It turned like that. We're like, all right. Did they just decide, like, oh, sorry, uh, we only even devote two episodes to this, so you gotta, you gotta turn it around and wrap it up. That's it. It's just stupid, y'all. What they do it? Yeah. Yeah. I wish yeah. I could tell you, but you know, you'll see. Yeah. It's a weak episode, and I think that's one that I could take all the other. I can take all the other stuff that's going on because they set that world up to be ridiculous as it is. They do. That one episode was written so bad, though. I know. Uh, I two, know. Episodes. two episodes. Yeah, it, it was. It was. And honestly, like my my not being as as into this season as the previous ones, it's a lot of that. It's the, it's the filler stuff. Well, part of it is the the filler because mm -hmm. those two, and then it's some points later. Because after that, I was like, man, I wish I didn't have to watch this because it, it's. It, it, it's it's kind of done at this point. They just they're just making it keep going. They are they creating yeah, they're, they're, conflicts. Yeah, yeah, they're creating conflicts. But then a few episodes later, I was like, well, wait, I'm kind of into it because one of the things I like about it <laughs> is how they keep going back to those old movies and just digging up those those actors from the past <laughs> and bringing them back out. And it's everybody. <laughs> and, yeah, it's everybody. And I thought they were done. Like when they bring them back, Chosen and and Terry Silver, I was like, all right, you got them all. They found one more. <laughs> they see. <laughs> like, if you watched the first season, and you came to this season at, right after that, you go, what the hell happened? I don't, I don't even recognize this show anymore. Yeah, no, you, it really. You have to be going along with it. And I don't mind the the soap opera format of it because that's how these things do. But with the soap opera, a lot of times it's manufacturing conflict oh, yeah. and, and drama, and to the point where it's just too many episodes where you go where they're they're distressed about what are we going to do about this, and you're like. The answer is kind of simple, really. Uh, like I said, just, just you know, you're so worried about these kids. Just go talk to all their parents. That's 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 a simple way to take care of this. Or or they let's get the police involved in, on some level, and and they got a whole prison thing going on too. That's a side story. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's just it's just kind of out there, and I don't mind it getting crazy, but I didn't like that it felt like they were trying to make something out of nothing. You know they they are such badasses now. They are superheroes. I'm like like Johnny, like Johnny Johnny really is like Bruce Lee now. And it's like yeah. how the fuck are you still like I this? Know. How, how does your life suck this much? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because some of the stuff with Johnny, I know he's comic relief and like oh Johnny can't get new technology and he's such a a, a meathead. You know he can't figure out things. But some of it is like all right, y'all making him Homer Simpson stupid right oh, now. Oh, you know what? No, uh -huh. I was I was going to say that, and I even have this written down. They're taking Johnny to uh, Thor Homer Simpson levels now, mm -hmm. where he's getting dumber as things go along. Mm -hmm. Like I like because you're right. He he doesn't know technology, but god damn, he's acting like he's 80 years old now. <laughs> One of you guys named Michael. It's McCabe. Hurry up! This other app's telling me I gotta pick up a guy named Jimmy John. Okay, you ain't that goddamn stupid. Exactly. <laughs> You've heard of a Jimmy John sandwich, okay? Exactly. You know, like, come yeah. on. And why would you be telling them yeah. I gotta pick up a guy named Jimmy John? Yeah, come on, <laughs> goddamn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is what? Get out of here, man. I gotta go pick up some dude named McDonald. All right. <laughs> we are going in the middle of a deal here. Hey, shut the hell up. This is <laughs> <laughs> he got beer cans all in the car and everything. Here's the funny thing with this, man. When we talk about like just forcing conflict everybody fights everybody fights yeah. <laughs> they fight I'm talking to everybody yeah. it, 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 it's, <clears throat> it's like Jerry Springer where fights spring yeah. up over nothing they they break out more random fights than Dragon Ball these motherfuckers sit that, like mom 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 goes to a bar and gets approached by the high school mean girl 
who still wants to start shit. And it's, uh, now this is a peeve of mine. She showed when she confronts uh, Daniel's wife, she's surrounded by uh, again. She, she even she got henchmen. Yeah, or like, hench women. Yes, yeah, you know, spring up out of nowhere. Who just stand around and don't don't talk, <laughs> but just laugh at everything the boss is. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I'm the henchman today. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you heard the boss. Yeah. You're the henchman that laughs at everything. Yeah. Well, let's try this. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm going to stand in front. You just stand behind me. Yeah, Martin. You come back around here, I'm going to put that hat right up your ass. <laughs> up your ass. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, up your ass. Oh, I'm gonna put, let's do what we did. Just, let's, just, let's, do, let's, let's do what we did right then. I'm gonna put that hat right up your ass. Ha! Up your ass. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 oh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't like that when people just are surrounded by like faceless, nameless henchmen that don't say anything. You, you know, something else that, that, that was kind of like a, not, not a great thing for me is that with the first season it was all very tongue-in-cheek like, yeah like it was knowing that this is ridiculous but it's fun but here when we get the most ridiculous like terry silver's plan like like the like the show isn't even acknowledging that this is ridiculous like yeah. it, like it's going along with it like yeah man we could we gotta stop you see why it's important to stop him i was like you guys, it look either somebody better <laughs> wink at me and let me know that <laughs> yeah. you know this is a joke, or stop taking this so seriously, or or stop p pretending like I'm in on it because I don't feel the urgency. Yeah, I, you know th that's something I think that they've done again. Like last season, that th that was the problem for me mm -hmm. uh, is that they you know they started going to this level uh, where things are just so ridiculous and nobody's acknowledging it. Shit, that was when they when they started fighting in the malls. I was that I was at that point. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But hey, I've I've continued to watch. Uh, I I would say I'll tell you this: the storyline that I did find really interesting until it went kind of crazy. And even then, I was just kind of like, all right, I'll just go with it. Uh, is uh, dude, <laughs> your boy Crease. Oh, that that was that was so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, wait, how you spell the thing, Crease? I, I don't know how they spell it. If Crease, it's with a K or let me with see, a C. Crease Cobra Kai. Here, I, it is. I, I had it. Yeah. Crease. So Crease is in jail now. Yeah, because uh, Terry Silver framed him. Because framed him, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, he's kind of he's kind of getting what he deserves, man. He's old uh, and he's getting his ass beat. He just looks defeated this season. He looks like he gave up, man. And you and I, well, I can't speak for him, but I kind of felt bad for him. I didn't. You know, because he just beat down. I, I, I did. I felt bad for him. And and, and uh, you know, I, I kind of like this storyline because because he's in jail and he can't do any other any other uh, of this crazy shit out there. His storyline is more grounded. <laughs> okay. Because he can't because he can't do anything. <laughs> you know, for the for the most part. That for shit the most, turned for, into the last season of Oz. Though. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that the whole show. <laughs> And they'll keep going. I think. I think they set up for season six because the because oh, yeah. the show <laughs> the show ends like a horror movie. The show ends like Halloween or something. Yes, it did. I'm not. Silence of the Lambs. I was like, wow. Okay, we don't. We really don't give a shit anymore now. Because I was so like, all right, this season was kind of exhausting. It's done. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a good it's a good place to just call it. Everybody had a good time. A lot of old <laughs> actors got to get new paychecks and everything, and we can go yeah. all home. And they pull that shit at the end. <laughs> I was just like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it really does turn into a horror movie at the end. And you'll see what we're talking about when you see when you see the show. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's what was our ratings? Well, we didn't give it a rating yet. Oh. Damn, hurt. Slow your ass down. I was gonna say. He's about to write this shit up. He's like, he was the done. Wayne's still there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, he was excited. Yeah. What y'all rated? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> Inquiring minds gotta know, but but uh, I would say that just to wrap it up, I, I, I look, I know what I'm in for at this point, and I think the show is kind of aware of how ridiculous it is. They, you know, they, I, they know how to end on cliffhangers. They know it. They they know how to create. They might they might push creating uh, conflicts, but they know how to create the right conflicts between certain characters to keep people interested. Uh, I complain about a lot of things, but I guess the biggest compliment I can give this is that I kept wanting to watch. <laughs> I kept wanting to see where this would go. 
I kept wanting to see the next episode. I kept wanting to see what would happen with that with that previous cliffhanger. So uh, yeah, for me it's a, it's it's a low matinee. Um, I think one season was a rental for me, but you know this is I, don't, I forgot what season that was, but I think this whatever whatever was going on here, either I've accepted how crazy this has gotten, or it was better than that season, and uh, and I and maybe because they have just said all right, let's just fuck it, let's just go crazy with it, let's just go all out. But yeah, low low matinee for me. Uh, I I liked about sixty percent of this show, but forty percent of it was me feeling like. I wish I didn't have to finish this. If I if I didn't have to, I probably wouldn't. It, it's okay. I, I I like the last season a lot more. I I just wish that there'd, there'd be a lot more tongue in cheek and recognizing it, that the, the drama is ridiculous. It it seems to be thinking like, huh? You're really into it, aren't you? I'm like, uh, not really. It's it's more of a, a high rental for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm into it, man. I'm just it's stupid, but that's kind of why I want. I want if, hey, look, either I want to see. I want to see where these conflicts are going to go and how they get resolved. I just want to see how stupid they get. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm only here to see, okay, who from the old movies are you going to bring in? There's I, still I, more. Because I, I, Yeah, I got, every time I think they got them all, because I was before, I was like, well, they got to bring in Hillary Swank now. And they're like, no, we got a lot more people before we get to her. Yeah, no, there's... There's a uh, no. There's 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 plenty of mine from they they are not gonna stop until they bring in Jaden Smith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna have Will Smith, Will Smith slapping somebody. <laughs> Slap a dojo. 